what they're asking us to do is evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, so cosecant, secant, and co um, cotangent. Guys, I, I see that. I know that some of you are using your unit circle. I don't have a problem with that. But please remember, guys, when you're going to have a test, you're not going to have access to that unit circle. All right? So really try to train your brain to really try to think through this. I know like adding numbers sometimes, you're just like, well, let me just use my calculator because it's much easier than me thinking it through my head. Even though I can do it in my head, I would much rather just use a calculator and save my brain some time, right? In the unit circle, I know some of you guys can think through this with the unit circle. Please try to use that because when you have a test, that's all you're going to have is the unit circle that's in your brain or how to apply it, all right? So here what we need to do to do this, we first need to determine where the angle is. So to determine the angle, remember we have our unit circle. I look at my denominator. If I'm going to start here, which is my initial side, I'm going to rotate around. We know halfway around the, um, halfway around the circle is an <clears throat> angle ter in terms of pi, or pi radians. I'm going to take my denominator and break this up into 6. So pi is in the same thing as 6 pi over 6. Then I'll break this up into 6 parts. All right. So this for, therefore, if I start here, this would be 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 6, 6 pi over 6. So therefore, the next one would be right there. 7 pi over 6. Because if I was to break this up into 6's sixes, sixes as well. Half a inner right, half, half the circle is pi, 6 pi over 6. So therefore, my angle is all the way right here. All right? Now, I need to determine what that angle is. Teachers, please pardon this interruption. At this time, please double check your email and the list that you received in your mailbox for Algebra 1 retakes. Please double check your list and send all students to the appropriate place at this time for Algebra 1 EOC retakes. Thank you. OK, so we have the unit circle. I don't even, I'm not even going to recreate the whole unit circle because I know that pi over 6, my first angle pi over 6, that is going to be the angle square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Right? And I know that from here down, that reference angle is pi over 6. So all I have is this angle is a direct reflection. <coughs> this angle is a direct reflection over here. right? So now, yes, what's going to be negative? Which coordinates? Now it's in the, fourth, the third quadrant. So if that's my point, what's going to be negative? Both of them, right? So therefore, my point is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. So now that I've figured out the point, or I figured out the angle, then I figured out the point, now I just need to go through and evaluate the six trig functions. So remember, the sine of t equals, is represented by the y coordinate. Well, this one's pretty basic. That's negative 1 half. The cosine of t is represented by the x coordinate, which is negative square root of 3 over 2. Those are the easy ones, right? All right. So now let's get into the fun ones. Oh, actually, let's do the reciprocal properties. So therefore, I have cosecant of t, which is equal to 1 over, 1 over y. So I have 1 over negative 1 half. Again, just multiply by the reciprocal, right? But to keep this video short, I'm just going to do it in my head. But if you multiply by the reciprocal, you get negative 2. Secant of t, which is equal to 1 over x, which is 1 over negative square root of 3 over 2. Again, multiply by the reciprocal. When you multiply by the reciprocal, you're going to have a negative 2 over the square root of 3. Then you have to rationalize the denominator, <coughs> multiply by the square root of 3 on the top and bottom, and your final answer would be negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. Again, I'm just, I've already gone through a lot of this algebra, so I'm just going to kind of quickly go through it. Tangent of t represents your y over your x. So in this case, I take the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. So therefore, I'll have negative 1 half divided by negative square root of 3 over 2. You can multiply by the reciprocals. But when you multiply by the reciprocals, what you'll see is the 2's divide out. My negative signs divide to positives. And I'm just left with a 1 over the square root of 3. Again, rationalize the denominator by multiplying the square root of 3 on the bottom and the top. And what you guys will have is a positive square root of 3 over 3. And then the cotangent of t. That's just going to be now equal to the x coordinate over the y coordinate. So therefore, I take negative square root of 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half. Again, the 2's are going to divide to 1. 
and my negatives will divide to a positive, and I'm just left with the square root of 3. Okay? So on those answers, guys, depending on what you got, give yourself an M, A, T, or H for both of those. Then please pass them up to a pile so I can go ahead and collect them.